Good morning. Um, it's weird. I feel like I haven't like vlogged in like the new house. Yeah, I feel like I did so many vlogs in the old house. Um, but we're gonna still have to like hold off because um, I'm actually about to leave for the airport in mm, like an hour. I have like a really crazy little travel schedule coming up. I'm going to, so Dylan and I are flying to New York today. And we'll land tonight, so maybe I'll do like 48 hours in New York, whatever. And then I fly there to Cabo for my assistant's wedding, which is gonna be so fun. And then I am gonna hop back on the plane and go back to New York for something Fun. I've been catching up on rest all week, so your girl is rested. Dylan's rested, according to his whoop. He like wears this thing, and every night he's like, "Sorry, my coffee machine is acting up." Uh, where was the Neutrogena thing that was right here? Dylan has a call. I went ahead and pre-made him some breakfast really quick. This is from yesterday. I made those box-made muffins. I just ate the tops off of it this morning. And then Dylan's having, here, yeah, he's stressed. <laughs> oh, okay, well, anyways, he's having eggs with tomato and some chicken we had left over. So a little scramble. Good luck on your call. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna finish packing and um, come along. Also with house stuff, I just got my rugs in from Rugs USA. I'm really excited about it for this room. Um, I love the direction of where it's going, but I need to like warm it up. You know what I mean? Like it's very black and white. We're getting like new trees and some furniture and stuff, but I'm excited to like walk in and the room to feel more like warm and cozy. I did order like a black rug for this area which I'm excited about. I just feel like it'll look like bold and cool and kind of go with the vibe. And with the whole light debacle, I've been posting it on my um, Instagram. Some people love these lights and some people don't. I like them a lot, but I might be actually switching them just to something that feels like still cool, but like maybe warm it up a little bit in here, so I think it's actually happening. I'm talking to Relative Lighting. They have like the best lighting ever, so yeah, there's a little update. Okay, here's my airport outfit. I've been trying to do this like outfit a day for the month of May thing. Some are doing well, some are, you know, whatever. So anyways, I'm trying on my outfits basically because I usually don't put in, I put in effort, but not every day, but anyways. So here's my outfit. I always wear sweatpants. I never wear shorts to the airport because my legs get so cold on planes and the whole time I sit like, like with my legs up, you know? So sweatpants forever. These Nikes, these are cool. They're like a off-white kind of. Little easy tank in case the weather changes and then just like a sweatshirt. And this hat is ranch rider, right Joe? Yeah. And then this hat is Ranch Rider, which um, is one of my favorite canned cocktails ever. Um, I actually invested in them, so represent. Do you think it's light or what? Oh. Uh. <laughs> San Diego trivia. I'm ready. So, ah, damn it. I'm gonna go 1946. This is a post World War II town. I'm gonna go 1930 because I feel like airplanes, like, you know, flew. Okay. 1929? I was closer. We started off with the military. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, it is a military town. Mission Bay created by, by man. By man. This is by man. How was Mission Bay created? By man or by nature? I'm gonna go by man because I feel like if it were by nature, this would be a question. There we go, baby. It is. I still haven't been to the zoo. I'm going 1916 when the San Diego Zoo 
1934. But I don't hate 1916. Yeah, damn it. Me, I was right? Yes. 1916. Oh my gosh. You know, this whole year of landing in San Diego has. I'm a local now. That guy was so sweet. He said we were the first people to ever go through his whole trivia. And there's only 35 questions. I got like half of them right though. He definitely thought we were stupid, but he's so sweet. He said, get home safe, which means we did so poorly in the trivia that he thinks we don't live here. For four, for like four for months. sure. Like he was like, okay, have a safe flight home. We were both like, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, we got, what is it, Qdoba? Qdoba. Qdoba. So we got some bowls. They're actually pretty filled up. She gave us like very hot sauce, so like the hottest of hot sauce. It's gonna be a long plane ride. No. Don't, don't smile like that. I'm excited to eat my Quidoba. <laughs> Quidoba? Qdoba. Qdoba. I'm excited to eat my Qdoba. do those Q and A's on the plane and the Wi-Fi sucked so I literally didn't at all and I listened to the same six country songs I was like listen to Josh Turner like if I gave you right now it is 10 44 and it's gonna take us about 30 minutes to get to the hotel in Brooklyn and then we're gonna order food and yeah, what an exciting travel day. Okay, we just checked into our room. It's gonna be a really quick tour because it's um, New York and everything is so small, but it has some like flavor to it. I'll take it, super cute. It's called the um, Williamsburg, so there's that. We'll have a good selfie mirror. Dylan's already doing Using his um, their gun. <laughs> nice. And then check out this view. Just kidding, can't really see anything yet, but I bet you can't back there view. might be something. It's nothing like a building in Brooklyn. <laughs> I think it's cute. Okay, so there's that. Um, we got some Chinese food, which I'm really excited to dive into. And I stopped by the bar and got some wine. It took so long to get here. It should have taken 30 minutes. How long did it take? Like an hour and a half? It's... I don't know if it took an hour and a half. He called me at 10.38. And we got... It's now 12.12. 12. Anyways, it's 12.12. 12, which I never stay up late, ever. But the time change is kind of messing me up. Because right now it's like only 9.00. You know, just jet lagged, just a jet lagged girly. I'm just kidding. Um, so I'll probably just sleep in tomorrow and all that stuff. Lamp lighting, by the way, is so important. We need to um, have lamps on and not overhead. Let's see. Oh yeah, this is already more like a vibe. Okay. If you guys don't just do lamps as your lighting, I don't think we could be friends. Okay, I found these robes in the closet. This one's pink. It's so cute. Dylan's is white. Yeah, it makes Here's sure our... you can't see anything. <laughs> and then here's our food. We are gonna grab, we are going to chill, and I'll see y'all later. I just, I literally just grabbed my, whoa. <laughs> Breakfast in bed. Just your good old average everything breakfast. Oh. Yum. I think I have a hot sauce in my purse, so I may need to utilize that. I got these little Tabascos while I was on a flight in Asia, so it's all um, not in English. But I bet it's better than bland eggs. Does anybody um, pack like an outfit for cute walks, cute brunch, cute lunch, like all of these things? Actually, I know y'all do this. Like, 
like so many clothes and then you just end up wearing like the most basic thing you can possibly find in your suitcase. Like look at this outside. It's just like so rainy and I'm like, I don't feel like dealing with it, but I'm gonna go get a blowout just so that I don't have to worry about that today. <laughs> I'm like a floating head. <laughs> nice. Um, but I don't have to worry about it today and then when we fly to Cabo in the morning for a wedding that we have tomorrow night, I'll be all fresh. So I'm gonna go to dry bar and just get a quick little blowout. And yeah. Every time I get to the hair salon, my hair all of a sudden looks decent. Is that just me? Okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm back. So the girl crushed my hair. She did a good job. Um, but honestly, I got really bad cramps while I was in there and I was about to start crying and I almost cried in the Uber ride home and he was like handing me tissues because I was in so much pain. So I put my hair up um, and I think I kind of messed it up. But like it gave it a little curl. I'm all good now. <laughs> I ate a chocolate bar from hotel service. I need to get ready kind of soon because we have an event with dailies, which I'm really excited about. They do like really cool like pouches that have good flavors like margarita and stuff like that. So um, they have a rooftop event tonight. So we're gonna go to that. Um, I think we'll be doing stuff with like People Magazine and all that kind of stuff. So they sent us like a brief of like making sure that we hit points and you know, stuff like that. It's kind of kind of cool. So gonna read over some of that tonight we can't do a lot um, I think we have to wake up at like 4 a.m. in the morning which is gonna suck and that's like 1 a.m. our time so that should be interesting but it's all good I'm just kind of having a lazy day I also thought it was just gonna be sunny and it's not so I'm just like Giving into it. I'm watching all the videos to the sound. It's got me messed up. YouTube really be out here exposing me. Like on Instagram, I feel like I can be like, oh my gosh, like this moment is so cute. Like, check out this. And YouTube, like, shows how, um, you know, how relatable my day is. Gonna sip on this and I'm about to get ready. I think I'm just gonna go pretty natural. The attire was like casual, friend, family friendly, which of course I didn't really bring a lot of. Um, I brought more like edgy New York style stuff. I did find one dress that I threw in that maybe I could do it with like some sneaks or something. So, um, guess I'm gonna do that. I'm, yeah. Go, go, juice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Something I've been working on lately, and I say this loosely because I'm kind of failing at it some days. I feel like last week I had this like weird realization of like, like I always kind of would get annoyed when people were like, spend less time on social media. I was like, scroll if you want to scroll, like have fun. Like it's not that deep. Like if it helps you escape reality a little bit and you, you're entertained then why not but last week I was like wow like I don't even know what I like anymore sometimes because I'm just scrolling and comparing and just mindlessly like watching things for hours and hours and hours that aren't my life like I'm not out there like living life like I'm looking at inspo of living rooms instead of me going to a furniture store and looking at things that I like and failing and messing up and like I don't know so I'm trying to kind of like 
fill that space that I would normally fill with like social media time, like with more valuable things in life because there quite literally is only so many hours in a day. And like, what if I'm doing this for five years in a row and then I miss like, I don't know, like however 150 days of my life to watching other people on like TikTok and social media, like that is like a terrifying concept. So I wanna get back to like loving life, like booking trips, even if that's just like home or like down the street. Like, I don't know, I, I just wanna like experience life a little bit more instead of just look like I'm experiencing life, which I am experiencing life, like, but so much of my job is like this whole illusion concept and like making things feel pretty and fun and I like doing that, but at what point am I just losing like what I am passionate about and what I wanna do and like how I can make people smile throughout the day, not even on social media, but like walking down the street, like what could I do to help people? Like, I don't know, maybe this is just a all over the place kind of spiel, but like, I just feel like there's a lot of things I could do with my time besides scrolling all the time. Sometimes it's fine, whatever, but I just wanna like live life a little bit more. Like Hannah Godwin, like my inner like seven year old, like who wants to live life so bad and like travel. I'm getting emotional. I'm literally annoying this video. I wanna do good and I wanna do good for people. And sometimes I get so caught up in all of this stupid shit that should it matter and I'm gonna start working on that. So if you guys have any tips or tricks with that, let me know. Maybe we can all like be challenged together. Even if it's like one hour a day, we like put our phones down and quite literally like pick up a book, which I don't read books a lot at all. Or like go and sit outside and be quiet and like listen to myself think. I feel like there's some type of value in there. Okay, anyways, gotta keep getting ready. Wipe those tears away, girl. We're gonna be fine. Okay, I just filmed my like outfit of the day for the month of May, the little thing I'm doing on um, TikTok. And it was honestly pretty cringy of me. I'll have to put it together later. But I'm so scared, I'm gonna forget like one of the days. But anyways, here's my outfit. It's a cute little cute little dress. I'm really glad I packed this. Like literally right before I closed my suitcase, I threw this little number in there. And then I, yes, I put my hair up. Um, I just feel like I needed to. Like I like to, I don't know, like show off the earrings and stuff like that. I like my hair down, but I feel like it takes the right outfit to have my hair down. I don't know if that makes sense. Mom, what are you wearing? Come here. He looks so handsome. He's talking to me about work. He's been working all day. Ooh, oh, you're too tall for this, buddy. I know, it's what happens when you're six feet tall. <laughs> you look so cute. You have, he has really good fashion taste, I think. Me thinks. Me thinks that he has good fashion taste. And we have to pack. We have to pack Cause today. Because we're leaving at 4 a.m. I told them that. Um, we have some friends coming to the event tonight, apparently. Definitely Fran from Chicks in the Office. Maybe Rhea. Maybe, maybe Tyler. Maybe who shall not be named. So it'll be a good night. Day. Um, the sun did come out, which I'm kind of surprised, which automatically makes my mood so so much better. Oh. I'm in a gun mode. <laughs> um, Laying out my plain outfit. Del, has anybody told you that you're the like coolest person in the world? No. I know that's annoying. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just like in a relationship. Sorry, it's just young love. We're just in our honeymoon stage. Is that what they call it? And everybody's like, Hannah, eventually you'll get out the honeymoon stage. It's been three years, so bring it on. Watch us like hate on. each other next year. 
stay tuned and subscribe and maybe you'll see you know if this is actual true love just kidding i'm just actually feeling myself kind of right now because all day i have not was i not struggling earlier you were struggling yeah. Oh, the out, the ice lounge area. That's cool. Yes. When do we do like the? This is gonna be so pretty. Yeah. These are all gonna go into the lounge. It's gonna be all neon. Oh, fun! That's sick. So pretty. There's like this view. It's all coming together. This is like we had to get here early for some interviews and stuff. But look at this, and the sun came out. I'm very happy. Oh, this is like an igloo. Because we're like the CEOs of Chill for this campaign, which is so cute and fun. Um, yeah, this location's great, honestly. So we haven't eaten since 12, and Dylan asked the chef if we get that some food. Right, so, <laughs> so here we are. Yeah, what's, what's in it? It's like a chicken cashew. Ooh, yum. Okay. Here's upstairs. Oh, they have these frozen cornhole games. That's so cool. He's about to make a speech. He's getting nervous. We're triple checking our little. Ah! Well, it wasn't a Dylan's warming up. Warming up for the speech. Stretch off. Okay, this is the end of our um, 48 hours in NYC. Here's our special guest for the grand finale. They finished an entire thing of sake. Bottle One bottle of sake for two. Brands drinking and for two. And he spilled. Did that just happen? I got nervous. I mean, it's like action. As soon as you brought out the camera, he spilled down his shirt. He got camera shy. Camera shy. Um, anyways, guys, we totally have to go back on the um, the RV trip. That was so fun. We almost, we almost had it. We almost had it. We, we, Yo, we almost did an RV trip, do all it. of us, during COVID. Oh. The and it didn't happen. Still Should we do a summer trip? We, well, Everybody is... comment below and we'll do a summer trip. Okay, bye guys.